in the two seat. Swagged out, familiar, we bringing up gas out. I still got some racks stuck in the trap house. Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out. I'm back out. Bullshit, spin back with a full clip. They say I'm with a full clip. And my shooters, they shooting. I'm gonna take it at your wrist. I get the breeze, then it's adios. If I'm with the trees, then she give it though. When I see police, then we getting low. That's another piece, that's another song. Ice in the VV, now she down to get cheesy. I got all this water on me like Fiji. Bitch, I'm posted up with hats and the squeezies. They go straight to the Mata Then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Open his slot, then I'm dancing my cha cha. Open his zaza, they go straight to the Mata Then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Then I'm hitting his slot, then he dancing my cha cha. Whoop it, bitch, I'm outside of some movies. Blue cheese, I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. I got a stick in this paper like blue sweet. Bitch, I'm about my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back to your movie. She just wanna hold my kid in the cheese. Even though you hate that I even check, I still get an E for effort. 
Only time I play the back and forth is a near record If I let you talk first and nobody is speaking second Fluent and passive aggression, that's why you acting dismissive Hearing me out for once will require you actually listen Damn The boy is back, I never turn my back I just slapped them, so now all that they see is my back Say that damn Maybach band with me in the back When I was an actor, I still couldn't clean on my act Whenever I tell the truth, you feel like you being attacked And that come on being attached, so how about we leave it at that? If you gonna waste your time To waste your time Working on the weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hits a block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day's the number, but I keep waking up Know you see my text, baby, please say something Why I'm by the glass, man, a cheapskate hump Niggas gotta move on my release, they hard Bitch, this is fame, not flow I don't even know what that's about, watch your mouth Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib I can never tell the shit, it is what it is Said what I had, so it did what I did I Never turn my back on every G, God forbid Heard you got the paddock on my wrist, doing front flips Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit Working on the weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping, was okay, so what? Someone hit the block of my tape, it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too flush Oh, oh, oh.
Besides the point. <clears throat> but y'all. But y'all. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I haven't said nothing this whole vlog. I haven't even filmed the intro, so. This will be my intro. I was so busy this morning. But y'all, as y'all can see, I'm back with another video. Today is a day in the life of a lash tech, of course. Well, this is like a realistic, realistic day in my life as a lash tech. Because this is typically how my days go. But it's Thursday, May 4th, 12.05. And I just got done with my second client. Um, I have one more. And yeah. I forgot to film my intro this morning. As y'all can see, I didn't say nothing. Um, I kind of woke work up late, then I had to go do something for my mom. And then I came straight to work. Well, me and my boyfriend went to Chick-fil-A. Then I came to work, and I didn't even vlog that. And y'all know, I vlog going to Chick-fil-A every morning that I go. But yeah, so what's on the to-do list today is, of course, tackle my clients. When I get done with my um, next client, which she comes at 12.30, I'm going to... <clears throat> what? Did I just turn into Fred? Excuse me. 
when I get done with her, I'm going to, um, if I'm hungry, I'm going to go to my papa's restaurant and I'm going to get me something to eat, like some tenders or I might just get me some, a burger or something. I got to become a better granddaughter because y'all, my papa stay, I mean, my pop, yeah, my papa stay like five minutes from my job. And if y'all know me, y'all know I love my grandparents to death. Like, my granny and granddaddy is my whole entire life, like, and I'm a terrible granddaughter. No, I'm lying. But I don't go see my papa as much as I should. As much as I should. And I had went down there the other day. And y'all, he cooked the fuck out of my bacon cheeseburger. And I'm really supposed to be starting a diet. But I've been thinking about that burger ever since I had it. Like, oh my God. I might get hamburger steak. If y'all had my papa cooking, then y'all know. But no, after I um, get done with this last client, then I'm probably going to order me something to eat from down there. Um, I'm just gonna sit in my car. Well, I'm gonna eat in my car. Or I might just, I don't know, y'all. I think I'm gonna just eat in my car and I'm gonna go sit at Starbucks because I was supposed to go yesterday, but I got caught up doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go to Starbucks, get, get some work done. And then after that, I'm gonna come home and finish doing my little, um, house, house duties or whatever. And after that, I'm probably gonna chill until... My boyfriend come down here so we can go to the gym. And yeah, that'll be my day. Um, I've been doing bad at vlogging, but I got a lot of content coming next week. I'm going to do a full vlog. I might even... Y'all heard that? Let me go back up to the front. But no, um, what I was about to say. I might vlog tomorrow because y'all know tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. I might just carry this out as a weekend in my life because I um I don't have any clients tomorrow. I have to go pick up some last trays and then it's Cinco de Mayo, so I'm supposed to be going out to get Mexican with E. And then Saturday I have clients, and then Sunday I'm in a photo shoot, so I'm, I'm gonna bring y'all along for that. And then after that, that's when I'll start my um weekly vlog that night, that Sunday, and then I have content coming for the weekend. I have content coming for the next three weeks, actually. So, yeah, this is just going on now. If you're new here, hey, I hope you like my channel, and I'm glad. I'm just going to assume that you like, comment, and subscribe. So, go ahead. If you already haven't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications so you can get notifications every time Real Brady posts a video because you know you don't want to miss it. But, um, yeah, y'all need to drop some um, video ideas y'all want me to do in the comments because your girl is getting tired of doing Days in the Life of the Last Stick, and I know y'all getting tired, too. But I got some different content coming up, so, yeah, I'm trying to get back in the groove of doing YouTube because, y'all, I've been trying to vlog all week. Like, I've been having clients every day, and I just haven't been feeling it when I woke up, like, then every time I get up, y'all, I be asking my boyfriend, like, should I vlog today? <laughs> he be like, yeah, you should vlog every day. And I never pick up the camera, but I'm getting back in the habit of, because y'all know I love being a content creator. And I'm going to get back on doing my um, reels and stuff on TikTok and what's the name, but it's 12.10, so I'm probably trying to take a little five-minute nap, so I'm going to call y'all back. So y'all, I just got done with my last client. Um, I didn't vlog just because I um my camera battery's going dead, and I don't know if I have an extra camera. And I want to take y'all along with me to Starbucks and stuff. So, well, I only have to go pick up my food and go to Starbucks. But right now I'm finna. It's 1:32, and I'm about to go and pick up my food for my granddaddy job. And then I'm gonna sit in my car and talk to y'all. And I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna tell y'all the story about what I just came in and told y'all about. Why somebody filed a dispute for a lash class deposit that I just did, y'all, saying that I overcharged them? How did I overcharge you? If anything, I undercharged you. Like, do you know anybody that's doing $75 for a full kit, your lunch, your um extra supplies? Because some of the stuff that came in their kits, I added in there. I took that out of my profit just to make sure they had well over enough stuff to you know do their first 10 to 20 clients like come on i'll be for real but like i said once i stop and eat we're gonna get more into that story because it's no way like why would you even play like that like 
and don't take me as a messy service provider or like a messy person in general general but like it just be crazy to me because like what's your reason like you know you received you know you received the um the kit the lunch all that like the lunch itself don't even count for real because i gotta feed you you know but like it's the fact that you really came to the class you stood up in the you stood up took pictures it was all on my tiktok and my youtube like did you not think that i was gonna post all of that on social media i'm pretty sure they follow me on social media so like it's just crazy like and then like so when i go oh, we're just gonna get my papa and he was outside but i'm gonna show y'all i ain't never had a bacon cheeseburger so good i don't need a bacon cheeseburger because i'm really supposed to be dieting but Mm. Oh my god. Good old fresh bacon cheeseburger with fries and a lemonade. Whew. I'm gonna fuck this up before I go on Starbucks. I might even not even make it to Starbucks. Well the burger might not make it. But let me clean my hands first. I hope y'all don't get stuck because y'all I need a new car like really bad like don't get me wrong my car ain't nothing really wrong with it but like I, it got a lot of recalls like on the interior somebody buy me a car and pay the car payment i'll be just fine until then i'm not gonna rush getting a new car like i used to growing up i really do not want no car payment but y'all i'm gonna eat a fry and eat fries hot Ooh. So y'all, I just got to Starbucks and it's a little packed. So I'ma just sit in my car and finish. I'ma try to finish my burger because I'm honestly full. I'ma just sit in here and finish my food until it clear out a little bit because I don't have nowhere else to go today. Y'all, let me tell y'all. So y'all know <clears throat> I had a lash class. Um, when did I have a lash class? April 27th or it was either April 27th or April 28th, right? So I had. And all I had 13 girls sign up, but two didn't show up. So it was 11 girls, and everybody came. You know, they was on good vibes. They did really good. Like honestly, they everybody did really good. They caught on quick. They they asked questions, stuff like that. They ate good. You know, the vibes was good per usual. Um, I didn't have nobody like have no complaints. I was asking them like, do y'all feel I could have did something better? Like, how do y'all feel the class went? Like, are y'all liking it so far? And I actually think I still had the clips of me asking it. I, my face wasn't in it, but I had the camera sh facing them. And I was asking them, like, how do y'all feel the class is going? Like, do y'all feel, how can I improve? Everybody was like, everything is all good, you know, or whatever. So, um, it's been about two, it, yeah, it's been about two, almost three weeks now. So, yesterday, as I'm fish, finishing up doing my nail takes, lashes, or whatever, I get an email that said I had a square dispute. I thought it was just like a marketing email because like what would you be disputing? First I was trying to figure out what is on my booking site that was $75. And then I'm trying to figure out like one what is $75, two who the fuck disputed $75 like is this somebody that like pre-booked appointments or something? Because I forgot that um, I had I had my um, lash class deposit thing. Everybody just go in there and sign up. It was way easier for me. But I don't, I'm not sure if I do that no more because that does give everybody the, the chance to dispute stuff. Like I've never had anybody dispute anything from a lash class. Like that's just, mm, say that for another day. So I'm, I'm texting my mama, my boyfriend, and E going off like, who the fuck disputed a lash class deposit? Everybody came, nobody said nothing like, and then what was really getting to me is because in the description box, like y'all know it'll tell you. For one, I don't think when people do disputes when it comes to using um, booking sites, I don't think people be knowing like, it tell you when they book, what time they book, where where the location they book, it tell you the last four digits of their credit card or whatever card they use on file. It tells you everything. And I'm so freaking glad that I made everybody put their number, a valid email, and a picture of your ID or a picture of you in general. Like it's supposed to be a picture of um your ID, but like some people just put a picture of them or they'll cross out their address, which I'm not trying to pull up to your house or anything. I was just like 
who would do that? Like, what's going on? So, I had went to the group chat because at this point I'm heated. I'm like, Mama, like, who would do this? Like, why did they say this? And then it tell me the reason for the chargeback or the chargeback claim reason was. Let me go because I got the screenshots in my phone. It said, okay, so it shows you like the transaction. And, okay, the amount was $75. The date of their transaction was March 10th at 10.30 a.m. The car was, I thought somebody had hit my car. The four digits of, the last four digits of the car, and it shows you their receipt um, code. So, disputed transaction was $67.50 because y'all know it takes out fees and stuff. The due date of our dispute is May 8th and the chargeback type was the customer claims to have been overcharged. You do not go online and file a dispute. No, you call your motherfucking bank. They tell you that and y'all when somebody purchased something or book an appointment on any of my sites or my booking site, it shows ideal looks. Like, girl, you know damn well you trained with ideal looks just two weeks ago. You knew there wasn't no false claim and if it was why did you show up to the class how did you know about the class if you didn't really go sign up so it said so after that i'm like oh so somebody really did dispute something they said i overcharged what the fuck i'm gonna overcharge you for a um lash class kit like if anything i undercharge you i don't know nobody around here that charged 75 dollars for a deposit or for a kit because i don't profit from that i buy all when you get a, my camera over here, get a um, when you book a class with me or anything, you get everything that you, you know, need or whatever. So, I go, I'm like, like, no way. Somebody said I overcharged them for a kit. Like, how do you feel I overcharged you? I'm the last set. You already trusted me to teach you this. So, how do you know if I overcharged you or not? Like, I don't know. No lash tech that does lash classes that charge under $100 for the deposit, for the kits or whatever, or like the deposits or whatever. And then you don't even get everything that I offer in my kits. Like, I always go over budget when it comes to getting my st my students whatever they need to, you know, pursue their lashing career. But that's another story for another day, like I said. But, like, I was just so flabbergasted. So, I'm going to try to wait till these people leave. And I want to put my camera back up. I need to go to the shade. I'm trying to put y'all right here. But, so y'all, whenever I have a lash class, I always put the girls in a group chat so that they can bond and get to know each other and stuff. So, I go to the group chat. Like, I didn't say this rule. I'm just curious to know, like, who did this. So, I was like, hey, did any of y'all file a dispute, a payment for y'all lash class deposit? Only one person responded. I know everybody, like, they work, so they be responding kind of late and stuff. Like, they was mostly older girls. And then I had, like, a couple younger younger girls that were still in school, so. At this point, before I even read the next message, I had already figured out who did it because, y'all, like, like I said, y'all, it shows me. It says March 10th, 10.30 a.m. It shows me when the person booked the class, so. I wasn't thinking, I'm just overreacting. Well, I wasn't overreacting because I had a valid reason to react how I reacted. So, at this point, I'm like, let me just go see who booked March 10th at 10.30. Because I know on one day, I had, like, so many people sign up for the class. So, I get to scrolling. I'm going back. Um, let me go show y'all. Like, this is, like, people just don't understand. They be trying to do weird shit knowing, like, karma will come back on you. Oh, my last class was the 22nd. But y'all, it shows me everybody who signed up. So I go to, I'm just going down the line to see when people booked. I don't wanna show her information, but like, oh well. But I was on my computer at this time, so it showed me the time on my phone, it only shows me the date. So on March 10th, I had like about four or five girls go. So I'm like, okay, her say March 10th, so I put a star by her name. Went down, I get to this one person, her say March 10th, 1030 a.m., so I'm like, oh.
Gun. So y'all, I sat at Starbucks for like an hour or two. It really feel like I sat there for two hours. But as y'all can see, I'm so sleepy. But um, it's now 3:48. I'm fixing to. My mama asked me to take my little brother to karate, so I'm fixing to um go to Ulta and try to give me some perfume just to kill time so I don't have to come back out because we all live on this side of town. I don't really want to go back home and then have to come back out. But let me go delete something because I only have a minute left on my SIM card. So like I was saying, my um, mom asked me to take my little brother to karate. So it's really no need for me to go home they have to come right back out. So, to kill time, it's 3.53. To kill time, I'm going to go to Ulta and try to get me some, um, I'm going to go to Ulta and try to get me some perfume. I'm going to head to Ulta so that I can go clean my car out afterwards because this shit looks disgusting. Like, really, really, really disgusting. So, I'm going to call y'all back. But I just got to, um, where did I just get to? To Ulta. Um, I'm just going to go in here to get some perfume and what else? Some bath stuff. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to call y'all back once I, um, once I come out of here. I'm going to bring y'all in here with me, of course, but. They be low key staring at me when I come here record, so we gotta do it on the slot, but yeah. So y'all, y'all can see. As y'all can see, I just came out of Ulta and I just went in there to get me another bottle of perfume. Um, but I ended up smelling Ariana Grande and I remember my mama had it and it just smelled so freaking good. So I got a Ariana Grande in her big thing of cloud. And then I just got the roller on of the good girl, Carolina, um, New York smell. Y'all, I had the big bottle at first. I was like, I don't know. Like, what is it going to give? So I got to really just play with it. I know this weekend I'm coming back get probably going to get this one or the pink one. Because, y'all, when I say that shit smells so good. Jesus. So I got this to go in my pocketbook. And then I got this for home. Um, I need to just get a whole bunch of roll-ons just so I can have them in my car and on my pocketbooks. But, y'all, it's 426 and I got to pee real bad. So I'm fixing to go home, get this trash out of my car and go to the dump. And then... Probably when I go get my when I go take my little brother to um where he gotta go, I'm probably just gonna go clean out my car anyway. 
because they need it real bad so yeah so we're gonna do all that today so i don't have to work tomorrow so far so well i know i don't have to work tomorrow because like i told you i have to pee so motherfucking bad like it's like when i got in the car it went crazy so i don't know i might just go use the bathroom somewhere else because i can't take this shit. i don't know if i'm gonna be able to hold it till when i get home and it's hot I think I'm finna run into public and, Publix and use the bathroom because baby, no. No, 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 I have to pee. I, please, I gotta pee. I have to fucking pee. It all of a sudden hit me like, why, 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 why? Please come home, please come home, please come home. Y'all have to pee so bad, Jesus. Parking spot right by the door, y'all. Wherever with that ass, show to the shower, to the truck, truck to the club for the party. You go in first with your girls, cause I don't know who's out there watching. But I do know one thing, though. Where they go, they go. Saturday, through Sunday, Monday, Monday, Sunday, go. Maybe I'll love you one day. Maybe. Hey, y'all. So I'm back today with um another weekend in the life um i decided to just do like a weekend in the life other than um well i decided to just vlog today i don't have any cl clients today but i'm about to go to um why did i leave this piece of hair out and i did not put a water on my hair this morning y'all so we're gonna wrap this around whatever um but i don't have any clients today because I originally took off just because I needed a break. Because I'm busy next week, so well, I'm real busy next week. I work every day except Tuesday, so we all gonna have a week in the life of the last tech soon. And then, yeah, um, what's on the, excuse me, what's on the to do list today is why y'all seen me get my car washed yesterday, right? And look. A fucking bird boo boo on my window. But that's another story once again. Y'all, this piece of hair is gonna irritate the fuck out of me, so just put it on up there. But no, um, what's on the to do list today is to, since I wasn't doing anything else, because like I kind of woke up irritated and it's kind of gloomy. So I went, woke up, went and picked up some last shades because I'm out. So I got enough trays to last me until my restock. So I did that this morning and then I came home, folded clothes, washed clothes, washed dishes, cleaned the bathroom, you know, housewife things, I'm just playing. But I did all that and then I just decided that like it's time to refresh my suite. So I'm about to head to um, Hobby Lobby to get me some containers so that I can organize my last trays a little bit better a little bit better and then after i go there i'm probably gonna go and go to subway and get me something to eat i really want a good salad but where i stay at nobody has good salads and then y'all know like i was gonna go out for cinco de mayo but like it's just too many people out like i went last year and my anxiety was just through the roof just because it was so many people so i might just wait to go get drinks and stuff another day because we do taco tuesday all the time so it's not like oh my god this is something like you know like if y'all know my people they have taco tuesday on a wednesday they do not care especially when my brother was home but um yeah so i'm just probably gonna do like a little reset day i'm trying to decide if i should go to tj maxx and get containers or should i go to hobby lobby i feel like hobby lobby would be cheaper so i think i'm gonna go to hobby lobby She's the movie like Barry Gordon. A star was born. My love is like a damn storm. My life full of fun. And I'm one of my hoes born. But she never had a time. Oh, she never had it more alone. And then he came with a gun. Cause with me, it's a whole war. I ain't finished or done. We got some, but we trying to get more. Trying to get more. Yeah. I sit to the head and float. Yeah. Already fed the pope. Yeah. Niggas too scared to go. Yeah. Hey. 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 
facing this way or this way but i think i want to do it this way we're gonna see how it feels we're gonna see how it feels we might do it just to see how it feels at work tomorrow i don't know we're just gonna see we're gonna see
client's boyfriend for my rug. It says Rich Off Lashing. Y'all know my logo is Rich Off Lashing. Period. Don't play with it. Let's just get into it. Like, he did this so perfect. It literally looks exactly like my logo. I'm going to put my logo on the screen, y'all. Like, it just looks so good. I don't know if I really want to put it where I had it at, but I'm going to move this down a little bit. Just a little bit so that I could put my other balloon column up. I'm going to probably get rid of the ideal looks one and just use my um, Rich Off Lashing one. But yeah, we're going to see. <laughs> 